I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Noah Farrow, your favorite bipolar actor. Today, we're doing Mitch Hedberg. Now, in the early 2000s, 90s, if you're around, um, they had, there was a lot of stand-up comedy. It boomed in the 80s, and it trickled into the 90s, early 2000s, and they would have them all on TV, stand-up uh, comedies on MTV, VH1, BET, Comedy Central, whatever. So the first introduction to Mitch was in one of these situations. So I'm excited. Let's shut the hell up. But I will after you do your part. Like, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Chitty chitty bang bang. Oh, chitty chitty bang bang, motherfucker. All right, welcome back. Our next comedian has appeared at the Montreal Comedy Festival, Late Night with David Letterman. Please welcome Mitch Hedberg, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. How, uh, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, how's everybody? But then I refrained. <laughs> Did I, uh, um... Anyone see me on the uh, Letterman show? No? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Four million, four million people awkward. watch that show, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> I cannot locate them. But I believe that, you know, that's my dream introduction right there, you know? You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I, I believe more people have seen me at the store. <laughs> you know? And, and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. And people would say, hell yes, I have. <laughs> he likes kiwi fruit. <coughs> yeah. I didn't like kiwi yeah. at first, because I thought it was like watermelon. I thought you had to spit out the seeds. <laughs> no, I, that, was, that was a risk, doing that joke. It was a this risk. This jacket is dry it's clean ridiculous. only, which means... It's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part, my, my favorite part about him is his awkwardness. Like he is just so he doesn't even make eye contact with the crowd. You're supposed to hit points and act like you're working the crowd, moving around, even though you're not looking at any particular person. <laughs> Makes you, the crowd feel like you're looking at. Oh, he's talking to me. He's talking to goddamn me. He does not do that. <laughs> He's just right here. Dry clean only. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm ready to go to the bar. <laughs> hey, I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. It's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, and impale it, and then rotate it. And I'll be damned if I'm not hungry. Because spitting chicken carcasses make my mouth water. I like dizzy chicken. <laughs> with some mashed potatoes. Dizzy chicken. <laughs> 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 you know, you can't, you can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people came to my show. Watermelon in my teeth, I feel like they got free watermelon in the bag, and I've been overindulging. I opened up a yogurt, and underneath the lid, it said, Please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of, but I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe your play was trying to inspire me. Come on, Mitch, don't give up. Please try again. <coughs> <laughs> A message of inspiration from your friends at Yo Play. Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. <laughs> uh, I'm so unanimated once the cameras are rolling. <laughs> at the wrong time to be unanimated, I would say. All right. I can't wait till this set's over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket 
and pineapple is next. First of all, what psychopath wants pineapple? <laughs> if that's you, I'm talking to you. Pineapple. <laughs> 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 you know, if I made an orange juice, I wouldn't be so hardcore on people. I would be more polite. Like, I would not print shake well on the carton because you don't know how good people can shake, you know? I would write, shake to the best of your ability. <laughs> they don't have a diagram that shows the uninitiated how to shake. All right, put it over here. Then put it over here. Then put it over here quicker. It's like he's making the jokes up off the top of his head. <laughs> Just talking. It's, like, <sighs> it's genius. I like to work in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very exciting town. And, uh, I work at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, there's four comedians on the bill. And we all had similar hair because we were all using the Riviera in-house shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> it was two in one shampoo. <laughs> two in one is not a r good term because it's, it's not real. Because one is not big enough to hold two. That's why two was created. If it was two in one, it would be overflowing. <laughs> I like to play blackjack, it's my favorite game. And my friend is a blackjack dealer and on his forearm he has a tattoo of an ace and a jack. <clears throat> See, I'm a blackjack player. On my forearm, I'm gonna get a tattoo of a 10 and a two. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe later, a king. <laughs> Hands of Discipline. <laughs> I was 12 was a game in Las Vegas. All right. I basically said the joke again. <laughs> I get up in the morning and I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal and then I don't do anything for an hour, which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. <laughs> I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. What the hell? <laughs> oh, so the other thing that makes him hilarious is that he really enjoys his own jokes. So he's just sitting there giggling. <laughs> and then he's got the pothead vibe, the shaggy <laughs> vibe. So he's just giggling. <laughs> He doesn't care if you don't like his jokes because he thinks they're funny, which are, is even funnier. Some comedians will get on stage, don't care if you don't like, don't like their jokes. I like these jokes, and I'm just going to fire these off. That's balls. I work at this club <clears throat> in Nashville, and uh, it's a you know five-night-a-week club or something. And, uh, I wasn't getting very many laughs, so the club owner took me aside. He said, Mitch, you know, you're not getting a lot of laughs. You're going to have to vacuum. He made me vacuum the club. It was embarrassing. So I told the next guy, hey, y'all got to start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop anything. <laughs> were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. <laughs> some, com some comedy clubs, they hand out comment cards. And those are rude. I don't like those. You know? Like, I pretend this is one here. Like, people fill it out, you know, there's a name and address, and there's a line that says comments, and, and people write down what they thought of the show. And sometimes yeah. people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> like, some, I read something that say, Mitch sucks. But then you look up above, it has their name and address. <laughs> that's right, I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that was Mitch Hedberg. Recipes, Mitch Hedberg. I appreciate you. Gone too soon. I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> <laughs>